Think of Microsoft Teams as your online classroom, where you can interact with your lecturer, your classmates and the course from home or any time you're away from college. Teams is free and can be accessed from any device, so either a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop or a desktop PC. All you need is an internet connection and your personal college email. Now here's a simple guide to show you how to find Teams, how to log on and what you can expect to see when you first use it. You can find Teams by searching for it in any browser. It's probably a good idea to add it to your favourites or bookmark it because you're going to be using it a lot over the coming year. If you're on a mobile device like your phone or tablet, then you'll need to go to your App Store and download the Microsoft Teams app and install it directly onto the device. Either way, once you've found Teams, just go to the sign-in prompt. It'll ask for your email. This is where you must use the college email address and password that's been assigned to you. If it's the first time you've logged on to Teams, it might recommend that you download the app to your laptop or desktop PC, like you can see here on the screen. For now, we'll stick to using the web browser version. And that's it, you're now logged into your Teams account. Down the left hand side of your Teams homepage, you'll find the menu. First make sure you're on the Teams tab. This is the page that shows all of the teams of the courses that you're currently enrolled onto at college. In this example, you can see that I'm a member of the Level 2 Games Design course. Other tabs include Activity, where you can see any updates, changes or new course information that's been added by your lecturer. There's Chat. Now from here you can message the entire group or individual students and classmates. Or if you need to contact your lecturer directly, you can search for them and send them a private message. From this menu, you can also access any files or documents that you've saved to your student OneDrive. This is an online space where you can save directly to the cloud. So you don't need to worry about forgetting your USB memory stick and you can find your work at any time online. There's also a calendar. It's a good idea to use this to help you organize your time. Here, you can also find invitations to any online classes that are being delivered by your lecturer. In this example, you can see I've been invited to a lecture, so by clicking in my diary, I have a link to take me to that class. In the top corner of the Teams homepage, you'll also find the apps icon, which looks like nine small squares. From here, you can quickly access other Microsoft applications, such as Outlook for your college emails, Word for assignments and PowerPoint to help you in designing your presentations. When you click on the team thumbnail for your course, it'll take you to that team. Now this is where my screen might differ slightly from yours. It all depends on exactly how your lecturer is using Teams and which teaching tools are appropriate for your type of course. As part of your induction, you'll be shown exactly what's there to help you complete your online work and what's expected of you when you're working with Microsoft Teams. Down the left hand side here, you'll find some channels. These will probably represent units or projects on your course. But generally, for each channel along the top of the page, you should then find some options. There's a post wall that's similar to other social media feeds like Facebook. This is where your lecturer will post reminders about deadlines and updates and you'll be able to like, comment or ask questions. If there is a class lecture or meeting taking place, like the example here, you'll also be able to join it from this post wall. Then there's the files option. This is where you'll be able to find materials and resources for your lessons and assignments. If your lecturer gave a presentation in a lesson or provided a handout, they may also have uploaded it to Teams to help you when you're studying online. And this is where you'll probably find it. Class Notebook is a useful tool that works like your own personal notebook online. Your lecturer may set up a class notebook for a project or assignment and you work on it directly in Teams. 
You just find your name from the drop down arrow and you can type straight onto the pages of your notebook, just like a Word document. Tasks, questions and prompts will probably already be on the page for you to complete. You don't even need to remember to save it, it'll do that automatically. These are just a sample of some of the really useful ways Microsoft Teams can help you when you're away from the classroom. Remember, it's a tool to help you keep engaged and get the very most out of your course. If you need any support with Teams, or if there's something you don't understand, then just ask one of your lecturers for help.